Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and I go by Rachel Bray on the internet and this is a floss tube extra. So in this video I am going to be sharing with you all of the countdown boxes that I've received for the month of December and sometimes they're known as advent boxes, sometimes countdown boxes. It just depends on you know which box you buy uh, but I'm just going to refer to them as my countdowns and the first one is actually one you can already see. It's right here. This is the Puka tea advent uh, calendar which has a tea for every day uh, today's tea of the day I've already brewed it it's Puka's feel new which it doesn't want to focus but it's called feel new and it's a clean infusion of aniseed fennel and cardamom so cheers everyone I'm going to start each day with the tea mmm it's very, um, it does feel clean. That aniseed is like a palate cleanser or like a, almost like a breath mint. It's not bad for 3.30 in the, uh, in the afternoon. I, I should have said, obviously today is December the 1st, Wednesday, December 1st, 2021. I also have to share with you, um, a boozy <laughs> Christmas chocolate, uh, kind of toasting the holiday countdown box. Uh, there are mini liqueurs in here and I thought it would be fun to share that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this every day. This it is a bit, yeah, <laughs> but I thought it would be really fun. And what it looks like on the inside is like this. So I might, I might get rid of this piece right here and it looks like, what is today? Today is number one. And number one is up here. Let's see. They're so cute. The famous grouse. Have you had that one before? I don't know if it'll... I need, I need more room <laughs> to do all of this. Look at it. So the way it says to eat this, I saw on the back of the box, it says that you unwrap it, bite the end of it, drink, and then eat the rest of it. So I'm going to turn it upside down, unwrap it. This should go faster in, in future episodes. Ooh. I did buy this calendar for uh, James as well, my husband, but he said he wants to enjoy his after dinner, but I was like, I have to film it. So. <laughs> oh, it smells amazing. I wish I could have, I wish there was smell-o-vision. Mmm. Can you see the liquid in there? All I can taste is chocolate. <laughs> I'm going to save that chocolate for the rest, the rest of this chocolate for later on because nobody wants to see me eat on camera. So that's fun. <laughs> I got both of these calendars from, um, from Amazon, Amazon UK. Cheers, everybody. Now, I don't have all of the countdown boxes that I ordered yet. They have not yet arrived. So, but I do have two. These two are yarny ones. And the first one is by Addison of Ruby and Roses Yarn. She is based in the United States. And I watched my friends unboxing her advent calendar from last year. So I decided to get my own. The basket did not come with it. And this is Christmas Day. I'm going to put that away for a while. But look at how cute the presentation is. Isn't it adorable? So we have day number one. I should have said, if you are, if you, well, by the time you see this video, hopefully these won't be spoilers anymore. But if you're hoping to not be surprised, then please don't watch these videos. Um, disclaimer.
Ooh, ooh, look. I got a pair of scissors and they have a guard. Ooh, very nice, look at that. Beautiful rose gold set. Very sharp ones. That's awesome, I'm gonna put that right in my dish. And then, the yarn. That is so pretty. Wow, look at that color. Isn't that fantastic? I love that little pop of green. That is so pretty. <laughs> love it. It has a slight fresh scent to it. It's got gray and like dark gray, light gray, pinks, a little bit of orange, and then that little pop of green. Now this one is called Winter Solstice. So pretty. I'll pop that back. I'm gonna pop these back in the bags for now because I still have all of those mini skeins as well. Actually, I'm about to film floss tube and I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm so excited. So that's today's From Ruby and Roses. And we have one more box at the moment. There's more boxes coming. This box is from Wild Atlantic Yarns. They are based in Ireland. I wanted to support an Irish dyer as well. So if I can do this. They have paper with their logo on it. And each one is wrapped up in a paper bag with a sticker on it. So we're gonna open day number one. Ooh, they have like this really nice um, packing tape. I'm gonna rip. rough. It's a much rougher kind of yarn. Look at the color. I can't remember what I got. I got a DK. 100% non-superwash Highland wool. Oh my gosh, in DK. 20 grams. In SH, SH. Yuletide. I'm going to guess that that is the color name. Shade, maybe, S-H. Yuletide. We'll see if tomorrow there's a different word there. And there's their logo. Very cool. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, you guys. So I, uh, y'all, so I hope that um, we get some more boxes tomorrow, if not by Friday, hopefully. But until then, we'll just be opening yarny stuff. <laughs> And hopefully we'll get some stitchy stuff soon. So I will see you all tomorrow. Hello everyone and good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, Tuesday, Thursday, <laughs> the 2nd of December. And uh, let's get started. I have the same mug as yesterday. <laughs> but today's tea is Puka's Mint Refresh, which for whatever reason my camera doesn't like. A spring of peppermint, fennel, and rose. I wouldn't normally put mint and mint and fennel together so mm, it's actually pretty good um <clears throat> today i got my black needle society nice list box in that is a stitching related box there are more more countdowns coming but they haven't arrived yet so today we will be opening that as well as the other stuff. We have our boozy chocolates. <laughs> this is an Anthon, Antonberg, Antonberg box. And today is number two. Number two is gonna be, if I can get it, Ooh, a silvery one. Pop that back down there. So Besky, Sobeski Vodka, 100% pure rye, it says. Look, look, look. Or don't. What's wrong with my camera today? Anyway, <clears throat> this one, let's just try it. 
just like yesterday, I'm going to eat the top of it and drink the contents, but then I'll save the rest of the chocolate for later because it's two in the afternoon. I have to go grocery shopping. I don't know what the, I'm sure that this is fine. I'm not driving. It's grand. So cheers. Mm. That's vodka. Not sure if I'd <clears throat> not sure if I'd do vodka and chocolate. Chocolate is nice, but Oh, that's weird. Okay. Anyway, I'm really excited. I have two days to catch you up on on the Black Needle Society nice list box. Now, you may know that I am I am a rep for Black Needle Society. Um, my repping will begin in January. I'm super excited to see what they have in store next year for, which is only a few weeks away, for their uh, subscriber boxes and their specialty boxes. So we'll, we will see. Today, I'm just getting this, uh, this card ready to scratch. Do I have a pen? Do I have a, a coin? Searches frantically for a coin. I do not have a coin. It's fine. We will make do. Here is day number one. A little Christmas tree. I'm sure you've probably, well, you've seen all this stuff already, right? What's up with my camera? Hold on one second. There we go. I would start over, but I can't. Uh, so I apologize for that. So let's let's have a look and see what's in day number one. Aww. 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 Okay. We have... So I realized that the Black Needle Society is doing their hashtag 12 days of stitching um, event. And they've given us a little pattern. It's called Season of Love. Check that out. It's a little snowflake. And not only did they give us this little pattern... They also gave us Lady Dot Creates ribbon that you can use to tie up your ornament and the little hoop. That is so cute. I'm gonna have to find a little ornament piece of fabric and do that real quick. That is super duper cute. Aw, so that's day number one. That is a Black Needle Society pattern as well. And now, let's have a look at day number two. Look at this bag. It's the most adorable little bag. I like it a lot. All right, let's see what's inside. Oh. Aw. It's a little ornament. It's a little ornament for your Christmas tree, and it says Flossmas. Can't read it. Flossmas. Now, I'm not going to be calling these vlogs Flossmas vlogs, but, you know, typically they are in, uh, at least for American viewers or people who celebrate Christmas. Thank you so much. That is so cute. I have lots of Flossmas memories from last year, though I think I called it something else. I don't remember exactly. Then I have two more, two more to, sh to share with you. And... Where are they? There they are. <laughs> I have things all over my desk. First up is Ruby and Roses. You can see her there. That's that's Addison. And she says that this is the Christmas Advent Calendar 2021. And today's colorway, number two, I'm just going to pull them out because... Lifting is hard. This one is supposed to be called the Star of Bethlehem. Oh, those are my colors. Let me get it, get it looking nice in my hand. Look how pretty that is. Wow, that is gorgeous. And it's so soft, super duper soft. 
I like that one a lot. I'm going to put it there on my shoulder so you can keep seeing it. A la Michelle Bendy from years ago. <laughs> years and years of all doing all of these yarn advent calendars. Oops. And then I drop it. Of course. All right. And then next up we have Wild Atlantic Yarns. This is the 100% Highland Wool Irish calendar that I got in eco-friendly packaging. I hope you like the ASMR. Ooh, this one is called Snowy Owl. There we go. Look at that. That's beautiful. These are rougher, so I'm going to have to find something. I'll probably make a cowl out of these for the super cold winter days. But that one, with that one, we've got these two so far. Very pretty. And then with this, I have actually caked up the first days because I'm going to use just this one in my Casa Pinka project, which is the Pinions Mystery Knit Along. And so far, I am on repeat number two of the first day. And this is a like a just a knit pearl ribbing. I like that color. That's a mothy in the squid color. It's so pretty. These are unnamed. These just had numbers. And if you're curious about all the colors that I'm putting in this, I've actually got it listed in the whip list. Yeah, my whip list. I have all the colors listed there. So that's it for today. I will see you all tomorrow. Hello everyone and happy Friday. Today is December 3rd and uh, ex please excuse the messy room. I was filming last night on Twitch so everything is still the way that it was last night. But anyway, we're starting today with lemon, ginger, and manuka honey tea. I've decided to keep the tea bag in the kitchen so I can have a second cup later on. This cup you may not have seen before. This is my snail cup. It, it's hot. When it's hot, it turns pink and you can see the snails. There's a sleeping snail as well. Um, anyway, cheers. A common theme in the puka teas seems to be licorice. So if you like licorice, I don't. So it kind of tastes weird. I always wondered what that was, and that's the licorice root. Next, we have our boozy calendar. Today is day three, which is here. Yesterday was not nice. <laughs> oh, this one is Drambuie. I I have heard of it. I don't think I've ever had it. And it doesn't want to focus either. Goodness gracious. Now my ca camera's gone all wonky. I'm sorry. So Drambuie. Let's see. I don't know what this tastes like. If you're underage, why are you watching? No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, no. Please respect the laws in your country. Okay. Come on. Y'all, I got my hair done today. I'll let you in on a secret. I'm 34 years old. And I had tinsel coming out of my hair. Tinsel. All over. I was going like this. And I could see silver one day one day i'll just let it go but today is not that day i am 34. all right let's go ready so you bite the bottom and there's liquid inside i'm gonna eat the chocolate first this time
Anybody ever been to Hershey, Pennsylvania? I say you're supposed to let the chocolate melt on your mouth. Who has time for that? All right. Cheers, everyone. Mmm. Tastes almost like a, like a bourbon. That one really goes with chocolate. I will say that much. <laughs> All right. Let's get into, hi, Luna wants to be a part of the video as well, apparently. Hello, darling. Um, I've got three countdown boxes to share with you. Uh, three small presents, as people are saying. It's so cute. I love watching the, the hollow vlogs, Flossmas, whatever the people want to call it. I'm going to start today with my local Wild Atlantic Yarns, which is an Irish company. Not sponsored by any of these, by the way, if I didn't say that before. Ooh. Look at that. So pretty. It's got three different shades of green. That's actually green, not gray. And it the shade is called Pine Needle. That's really pretty. 100% Highland wool. Very cool. Next up, we have Ruby and Roses Day 3. Ooh. So soft. Her bases are so soft. I don't... Oh, the card. The card. Where's the card? Hang on. Day three is called Gingerbread Competition. That's pretty funky. I like I like that. That's very interesting. Um, Ruby and Roses is well known for her speckling. All right. And then, lastly, we have the Black Needle Society. This is day three. Um, first... I have, oh my gosh, there's just so much. I have to clean my desk. <laughs> I really have to, oh, I taped, I accidentally taped the card to the desk. Well, anyway, let's open it up. <laughs> Aha! Ooh. Fortnite Fabrics. This is called Winterberry. 32 count linen. Ooh, let's open it up. Not heavily scented. Oh, that's pretty. 32 count linen. Is that the right color? Yeah. Yeah, that's the right color. Wow. I like it a lot. I like the color. Um, I think this probably goes with the little ornament that we got yesterday, the pattern, uh, or the pattern that I opened for the first day. I don't remember. Um, but the card probably tells more. I'm going to go ahead and try to rescue. <laughs> real life, real life. Here goes. All right. I brought in a coin and I brought in a quarter because I miss home at this time of year. Oh, it's much easier to scratch than the Halloween one. That's awesome. All right. First day, mini hoop and ribbon. Lady Dot Creates and Black Needle Society stitch this snowflake and finish it onto this hoop. Attach a ribbon to make a winter necklace. Day two was the Flossmas ornament designed by the Black Needle Society. Ready to put up your tree? Add a little Flossmas spirit to your decor with this exclusive ornament. I actually already put it on my Christmas bush. Yes, I have a Christmas bush. Not a tree because... I don't have room for that, and I don't have kids. <laughs> All right, number three. Advent th what? That 
that's in the wrong bag. I think I'll let, I'll let them know. <laughs> it says Advent Thread Pack number one. It says three. I'm, <laughs> I'm positive I'm reading that right. Oops. I'm so sorry if I just spoiled anything for anybody. Uh, but it was in the wrong bag. Okay. Well, do you know what? It's fine. It's fine. So plans. Well, no, I won't talk about plans. I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs> uh, oh, I did catch up with Pinion's drop number one. So I'm ready for the next drop. I will, uh, I will check in with you in the next clip. Hello, everyone, and uh, happy Saturday. Today is the 4th of December, 2021, and my camera looks very cool. I'm using completely natural light. Um, say lavi. How are you all doing today? Uh, it's been a slow morning, and it's been lovely. I finished section two on the Pinions Mystery Knit Along by Caspinka and I'm just getting ready to go to lunch. But before we go to lunch, I wanted to film this clip. So today's tea is Puka's English breakfast tea. And I noticed on this advent calendar, it actually says stuff behind the tea. And I didn't realize that. So we're just going to read it real quick. Day one, herbs to help you feel like new for mornings after the night before. Uh, day two, the night, the night before is usually when you've been out drinking, just FYI. I don't know if that's a term that everybody uses. Uh, day two, cool mint and delicate rose, perfect partners for a winter, winter's day. Three is the mint day. Uh, this is the cup that's the carol singer's friend. Sing loud with herbs that ease and tend. And day four, which is today, at this time of year, breakfast should be special as this tea is here. So, lovely. Um, I'll put that up later. Uh, English breakfast tea is, is a standard. It's quite like Irish breakfast tea, but it is different. I don't like mine with milk. English style. Oh, it's lovely. Black tea. Also, quick, quick, last, uh, this morning I noticed that, um, I remembered that I bought this ornament ball where I could put my orts in. Orts are old ratty threads. Look, I made a 2021 ort bulb. So these are all my orts from April to December. The ones before that, um, obviously I was in the States from December to April um, last year, this year, or last year. And um, so I don't have those orts, but I kept all my orts since. And yeah, I have a whole jar full of 2020 orts as well. I need to get more of these. And I just have a um, temporary hanging majiggy. Let's have some boozy chocolate, shall we? Please ignore any and all sounds that may come from the other room. Uh, oh, oh. Autofocus hates this lighting for whatever reason. So today is day four. Also, I noticed that it dis it describes the booze over here. And I think that the days are wrong. Yeah, the days are all mixed up. It, it has them numbered here. Anyway, oh. <gasps> Oh, they didn't. Of course they didn't put them in order. What am I talking about? Never mind. This says Mount Gay Barbados Rum. I love rum. This says Mount Gay's roots can be traced back to the processing of Barbadian sugarcane three centuries ago, making it the oldest rum and continually produced spirit in the world. Don't mind if I do. I really like um, the taste of rum. Do not drink a lot of rum. It is not good for you. Do not do it. <laughs> oh, but I think that this calendar is dark chocolate, which is perfect. So 
I love dark chocolate. I do not like milk chocolate. There are times where milk chocolate is okay. Hot chocolate, for example, but as an edible chocolate. Mm. Cordials are definitely the way to go for Christmas. The rum. Mm. That's nice. That's nice. I would eat the whole thing in one go, but I'm trying to be good. Save some for later. All right. Let's get into our openings. It is Saturday, so there's no mail on Saturday or Sunday. So hopefully you mirror silks come in. Let's look at uh, Wild Atlantic Way yarn. Ooh. Super colorful. This one, the colorway is called Reflection. Wow. So pretty. Really pretty color. I'm going to have to make something really special with these. The rest of them are up in there. With my Noel ornament. See it? Oh, right there. From Four Boys and an NL Girl. All right, let's do Ruby and Roses. This colorway is called Whistling Wind. <gasps> Took all my air. Oh, oh my goodness. This looks a lot like a color that I knit with a few years ago. Two, well, a few years ago, it was last year. Wow. That colorway was called Heather by Comra Yarns. So that's that one. And that's the other one. Some really pretty colors today. Two very different bases, as you can see. Uh, this one's very compact and super, like it's DK um, and it's 100% wool. This is a nylon and wool blend, but it's also in fingering weight. So the threads are a lot smaller. Thank you, Irish Sunshine, for coming out right when I was showing off colors. Jeez. All right, day four is the Black Needle Society's uh, nice list box. Ooh, here's the thread pack that we were promised. <laughs> I messaged them. They said that uh, a few days got mixed up. It's okay. They just got excited. Wow. So here's our colors, a little color palette. These two are a toile. So they are sparkly, sparkly. I don't think you can see. You can see in the black, but you can't see in the white. Is that ecru? No, it's blanc. Blanc in a toile looks kind of gray, but that's okay. And then these are all Sullivan's. I've never used Sullivan's floss before. What's the story with Sullivan's? Uh, red, orange, and brown. So compare this color to DMC. Oh, 304, 721, and 801. Those are the... Comparatively, those colors. And then my scratch off card. All right, let's see what it says. DMC and Sullivan's thread chosen by the designer for the cu first custom nice list pattern, which means that yesterday was actually written on December 4th slot. So yesterday, Advent Fabric, Fortnite Fabrics, fabric chosen by the designer for the first custom nice list pattern. Interesting. I'm going like this. Some people probably just cringed all the way. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine here. Okay. 
Thank you for hanging out with me and uh, watching me open things, and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> it looks like I'm just going to disappear. To I'm going to make it so that I just, like, fade into nothing. <laughs> Hello everyone, happy Sunday. Today is Sunday the 5th of December and it is a busy Sunday. <laughs> so bear with me, today is gonna be really, really fast. I didn't even make the tea. So where's my tea actually? I will have to let you know what it tastes like tomorrow. Uh, today is the 5th, so five, five, five. Can you see? It's a beautiful tea. Ooh, it's a green tea. Oh, I love green tea. Okay, this is a Supreme Matcha Green, the finest tea, green tea and matcha blended to be supremely smooth. I don't even know if I've had real matcha before. Infused for three to five minutes. And it says, here's a cup to make you feel supreme organic matcha and tea, the purest green. So I will try that. I have not boiled the kettle. It is crazy busy today. Let's see what chocolate we get today. Day five is here. Eh, I can't show you and push. I just changed my nails. Oop. Needle minder stuck. There we go. New nails today. So this is I don't know what that says. I've never seen this before. Hang on. Oh, Borghetti. Cafe Borghetti is the liquor liqueur of real Italian espresso coffee. Ooh, yummy. It was created by Ugo Borghetti, Borghetti in 1860 and in, in a short time gained fame and awareness in Italy and Europe. Sounds lovely. Um... I also kind of want to wait on this one too. I know, I know, but truthfully, I don't want to eat today. I, I, I am, I am focused. I'm going to get stuff done. Okay. So let's look at what we got. First, we have Wild Atlantic Yarns. This is an Irish company. Definitely check them out. I'll have them linked. Ooh. This is the 100% Highland Wool. Check that out. Matches my shirt today. And the colorway is called Midnight Sky. Yeah, it's kind of gray. Grayish blue. Very pretty. Then, oh, I forgot. Oh, well, I'll, I'll try to remember tomorrow. I have antlers. I wore these last year, remember? I'm okay. All right. So, uh, day five for Ruby and Roses is, oh, where's the card? Wrapping Presents. <gasps> wow, that's pretty. Look at that. It's like a rainbow in one little mini skein. I like that. Very pretty. That would look good on his own for something like a collar or something like that you know very pretty very nice very nice and then we have the black needle society where's my scratch card here it is the nice list Day five is an envelope, so this is a pattern. I'm super excited to see what it is because we have the, oh, it's behind me. We have, let's see, let's see if we can guess, right? Here's the fabric. And yesterday I should do the flosses, right? I feel like I gotta sneeze. Excuse me. And if I do a little floss toss. Mm. Mm. Okay. What is it going to be? Oh, it's a park hopper Bart. 
Oh, that is cute. Look. Winter welcome. That's adorable. I hope you can see it. I like it. I like it a lot. Designed exclusively for the Black Needle Society and stitched on fabric dyed by Fortnite Fabrics. You should definitely check out Park Popper Bart. Um, I'm working on his Wakanda Forever pattern and he's on Gumroad. But this is exclusive. It's really pretty. Love snowmen patterns. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put all my stuff together for this pattern into the envelope with the, you know, with this fabric and everything so that it stays together because I don't want to lose it or misplace it. And then we will scratch the card if I can get everything together. Actually, let me sandwich there. Sandwich the floss <laughs> into that little folder. And then I'm going to scratch the card here. My lucky quarter. Day five. Advent pattern number one, Park Hopper Bart stitched this sweet snowman with this winter, no, sorry, stitch this sweet snowman this winter each time it snows for a fun snow day project. Well, it doesn't snow here, <laughs> so uh, I can't, but it is super cute. And I think that is it for me today. Shortest clip ever, but um, I will see you all tomorrow. I'm so excited and I will be more prepared and relaxed. So see you then. Good morning. Happy Monday. Today is the 6th of December and it is cold. <laughs> it is sunny today, so I imagine that we're going to fight with lighting a little bit, but hey, you know, it's me. Today we are starting off with tea. Today's tea is three ginger tea from Puka. Um, and day six, da, 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 da. where are you? There it is. Three wise herbal kings are here. Majestic heat to feel the cheer, it says. It is a, um, the ginger tea is actually my least favorite tea, but it's super healthy for you. And it's been brewing for about four or five minutes. It says five to 15 minutes, but... Mm. All right, let's get into it because I know this video is going to be long. Uh, boozy chocolate time. Day six is this box. Put on nails. They're long. Come on, give it to me. You got to fight it for it. Fight for it. Today's is, ooh, citrus vodka by Dan's. What is it? Danza? Hold on, let, let me let me read the card here. Danska, original, is made using an advanced production process, a combination of Nordic water, 100% whole grain, and a six-column continuous distillation process producing a smooth, aroma, aromatic vodka with a twist of citrus. Mm. How's everybody doing today? Today is, is a Monday. My box just arrived at Jessie's, the box that she sent of all my stuff, <laughs> just arrived back to Richmond. It left here again on the 19th of August. Ooh, wow, hello sunshine. And uh, I'm just glad that it that it did get back and it's not lost forever. That's That's a good thing. So I'm eating from the bottom, of course, like it said. Mm. Oh, that's a good one. Mm. Citrus. Citrus. Oh, that's gonna, that's gonna. <laughs> I've had to, I've learned that I can only bite it like that because otherwise it just starts when I lay it down. 
it'll start pouring out. So we don't want that. Cheers. Ooh, lovely. All right, so let's just quickly see what's going on. <sighs> so it just says that it rejected failed customs clearance. Ugh, how annoying. All right, well, hopefully, hopefully it'll work. It'll come back this time. Okay, today is a really happy day because it's Monday. Um, I received my almond M&Ms. What is it called again? Floss Fest 2021 Floss Fest box, December box. And it's a whole month of silk. <laughs> So yay, we have a lot of catching up to do on that one, but I'm going to do that last. I'm going to go in the order that we've been going in, and I just realized that I don't have my BNS scratch card. Where did it go? Oh, well, uh, we'll find it soon. So let's go in the order we've been going in. Wild Atlantic, Wild Atlantic Yarns, not to say Wild Atlantic Way. <laughs> love those colors together oh my goodness oh that's so pretty this one is called winter woods how pretty is that look at there's all colors in there blues and pinks and purples and reds and greens and white of course how pretty I love it so so pretty next I've got ruby and roses Ooh, this one is starting a new tradition. Oh, this is a nice, like, warm color. Oranges and green and pink. Interesting. Interesting to put those colors together. I don't know if I would have put those colors together, but I know that she loves pink. <laughs> Very cool. Starting a new tradition. Next up, we've got what looks like... It could be something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Ooh. Aww. It's a Matryoshka doll. Look. How adorable. And she's doing embroidery. Aww. That is so cute. Love it. This is from... The company A Needle Runs Through It. They are on Facebook and Instagram and Etsy. A Needle Runs Through It. I'm going to have to follow them. Very strong magnets. Keep away from children. That's super cute. Okay, now let's, let's catch up. So I have six days of silk to open. <gasps> All these pretty little packets. Drink some well, some water. Drink some tea. Let's drink some hot leaf juice. Mm. And have a look at my mug. So um, this one is a friend. A friend gave this to me. It's a dark joke. I think it's it's called Ovolution. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a dark joke but anyway all right let's get into it day one Ooh, this one oh this one's called wisteria come on pretty lavender and light blue and silver very pretty day one I'm not gonna keep these in the envelopes I'm going to take them out. Oh, and what else came in the box was a tea, a green tea by Harney and Sons that looks very, very fancy. And then one of these. And this is to wrap your flosses around so that you get an even length. This is going to be way more handy than me wrapping <laughs> around a, uh, a light pad. That's really good. So thank you very much for putting that in the boxy mirror. If you want to get a floss fest box or a floss, yeah, floss fest box, I think that 
She may be making them for other months as well. Uh, check out almondmms.com. Almond almondmmsstudio.com, excuse me. Day two. Ooh, this one is called Watermelon. Look at all those colors. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. That's day two. Day three. Oh, leafy. It does look leafy. Very pretty. And these are so soft. I've used her, hello? Hello? Thank you. <laughs> I've used her flosses in um, projects before. I've used them in, was it small burbs? No, I don't think so. Uh, Fox few. And I thought there was another one as well, but definitely Fox View. Day four. Ooh, Apple Amaretto. Beautiful brown. You know, the difference, the difference in stitching with cotton and stitching with silk. Silk feels like butter. I know it's expensive. Uh, it's not for everybody, but the the stitching experience is so nice. So, so nice. Day five. Ooh, Maleficent. Look at that one. That is pretty. I love purple, though, so I'm a little biased. Maleficent. And day six. And then we're all caught up. Ooh, Blue Lagoon. So pretty. I love these little floss nuggets. They're so cute. So we've got, whoops. Nope. <laughs> it's not food, Luna, I promise. We have six beautiful colors today. Thank you, Ymir. Um, I bought this box back in August when she released it. I think she made a, a floss tube and talked about it. And I was like, yep. I have no self-control when the people that I like to watch on floss tube show me things. I get just as enabled as people who say they watch my videos and get enabled. Yeah. <laughs> and supporting small businesses something I like to do. So thank you so much, Ymir. I'm going to go finish my tea and figure out what I can do to help get my box of goodies over here, uh, hopefully as soon as possible. So I will see you all tomorrow. And tomorrow will be the last clip for this weekly update, vloggy style, Christmas countdown, holiday countdown video that I haven't decided a name on for. So see you later. Hello everyone and happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday the, the 7th of December and today we are experiencing Storm Barra. Storm Barra is hitting the coast of Cork and Kerry really, really hard today. Our chicken coop flipped over and we had to write that and put duct tape <laughs> um, on it so that it would um, be anchored down for the day hopefully hopefully that helps excuse me um so let's go ahead and open some small gifts and uh, i will get this video up and out there in the world for you this is uh, rt today is the three fennel tea from puka i'm sorry it doesn't <laughs> it, <laughs> it doesn't um focus very well but fennel I'm not excited. Let's just put it that way. If you can hear, that's the Witcher in the background. Um, this is my mug from uh, Caroline from Off the Grid. Got a mug and it's from Potter. I'll have to look it up. Excuse me. So that and then we have, we have chocolate, Luna. 
We have chocolate. Our busy advent calendar. Today is day seven. Where's seven on this thing? Right here. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna pull a Jessie. I've been watching her do this all week because she has no idea. <laughs> she has no idea. I'm like, I must, I must watch when they come out. All right, so this one is called Boulevard. Cute. Boulevard is, since 1825, five generations of the Bullard family have taken on the running of business. Produced in the heart of the apple orchards of Normandy region in France, this top of the range Calvados is now a highly successful brand. I haven't heard of it, but that doesn't mean anything. Can you hear her purring? I hope. Oh, now you're both really interested. This is my treat. Yeah, this is this is mine. <laughs> okay. So as usual, I'm just gonna eat the top of it and drink the liqueur, and then I will eat the rest with my tea later on. Oh, it is so windy. I've had my noise canceling headphones on all morning. I've been up since like eight and. I can't, I can't, I can't listen to the blowing of the wind for too long or it makes me feel like I'm losing it. Mm. I'm not really sure what flavor that's supposed to be. I can taste the sharpness like, but aside from that, I don't really get anything. All right, let's try our tea, fennel. It says, leaves and seeds of a powerful plant, gentle but essential to help food go down. think it would be but you got to try everything once right all right let's get into this day seven wild atlantic yarns Ooh! oh my gosh <laughs> wow this is kaleidoscope it is a bit darker purple in person Everything is blown out right now. Wow, that is so pretty. <laughs> That's a really pretty color. I like that a lot. Next up is Ruby and Roses. This color should be called Yuletide. Oh, by the card. Ooh. Ooh. Pretty speckly one. Lots of blue speckle in there. Pink and blue and green. Very pretty. Those two colors. Yeah. Really nice. Okay. But I don't have any more yarn, so that's it. That's it. But they're very pretty. I like them a lot. There's a huge difference again. The weights. You can you can see it demonstrated there. Okay. Very nice. Then, uh, oh yes, we didn't scratch yesterday. I couldn't find my scratch card. It was behind my monitor. Uh, so yesterday we had the exclusive needle minder from A Needle Runs Through It. Let this adorable custom Russian inspired nesting doll keep your needle safe. And today we have this. It feels hard. It's got beveled edges. I'm not sure what this is. I think these are Christmas cards. This is made with love. I'm not sure actually. It could be. I think they are cards. Really pretty. Uh, super shiny. 
Let's see what it says on the scratch off. Made with love card set from MS Point. Gifting handmade items this year. Let them know it was made with love with one of these cards. Okay, so they are. They are made with love cards. It's really pretty. I like how holographic it is. And it looks like Katie's style. So I'm going to guess that Katie drew it and designed the picture. Very pretty. I like it. And then, so that is from the Black Needle Society's Nice List box, which is a special, uh, subs not a subscription box, but a, but a separate box. And um, last but not least is Almond M&M's, which I just got the silks for you saw yesterday. Let's go ahead and, oh. Oh. when I opened it up, there's one inside and then there was another envelope. Wow. So on, inside the envelope, it says Foxy. That's pretty. I like how it's mostly red with a little bit of green inside. Isn't that pretty? I want to put it up on my tree. <laughs> That's how pretty it is. And then I have this one inside of that one. They're like a gift at the end of each week. Oh my goodness, what's this? Oh, what is this? Oh, that's so cute. This says, Purple Sage Two Ply. Oh, it's a really pretty color hand. Let me see if I can get it. It's on like a, a wooden bobbin. The music in the other room has just gotten really loud, so I'm worried about copyright now. Hopefully it won't show up. So this was also included in that little gift. That is so pretty. I love those colors together. That's gorgeous. Purple Sage Two Ply. Lovely. I'm gonna have to um, do something with that one because it doesn't have a band on it, you know? So um, I will have to find a way to put that away somehow. I caught up on my pinions of Mystery Knit Along by Casa Pinka. And I, so day three is done. And I have been working on my crochet along project with Mrs. Crochet and Coffee. She just updated part three, which is the decrease. So we've done half of the project and now we're decreasing. So I'm doing that while the weather is wicked outside. And I'm gonna let you guys go because I need to, to go and hide, <laughs> hide in my little house here uh, while the storm blows over. Um, everybody is fine, everybody is safe, uh, but please keep those who are less fortunate in your thoughts. Hopefully this will blow over quickly. I can see the sun is making an appearance. I just want the wind to kind of die down uh, because it is really strong wind right now. So um, my thoughts to all of you who are watching who may be affected by Storm Barra. I hope that it goes quick and that you don't have any damage. I hope that you have a wonderful week and I will see you all next week for more of this. <laughs> Happy holidays.